Jammu and Kashmir is rich in cultural and religious heritage. Jammu and Kashmir has a number of ancient temples which used to be abode of Hindu gods. But today, unfortunately, there lies mere ruins of these holy sites and sacred places due to anti-Hindu forces and Islamic terrorism. Let us go back in the history. Before Mughal period, with the transformation of political power in Kashmir Valley in 1339 AD, the temples and cultural symbols of Hindus came under severe Muslim onslaught. Primarily, in the leadership of uh, Sikandar Butshikhar. Then a dark period of forcible expansion of Islam followed, which not only desecrated and plundered the holy and sacred temples, but pillaged and ravaged a number of Hindu sites. One such ancient mammoth, massive, incredible stone temples complex of Kashmir is Naranag temples or Vangat temples, which we are watching in this video. The first group of six temples is situated within an enclosure wall. The principal temple is a square of 25 feet. It has two entrances opposite each other in the northeast and southwest sides. It has a domed ceiling and the core of the roof consists of rubble stone masonry in line. The interior measures 17 feet square. In the center of the floor is a square space which is unpaved. It marks the site of the pedestal of the image. The two sides which are closed are decorated externally with a square topped recesses, each of which contains the pedestal of an image which was probably a replica of uh, the one in the sanctum itself. Externally, the roof is pyramidal. This temple has been identified as uh, Shiva Jesta Rudra. The small temple to the left possesses niches on the three sides. The temple immediately touching the porch of this preceding shrine is a single square structure, plain both internally and externally. Behind this is the basement of another small temple. Its superstructure has fallen down. Of the two temples behind, one has its entrance facing southeast and the other faces northeast. The second group of temples is situated about 200 yards away. It is enclosed in a massive rectangular pierced by 
a two-chambered gateway. Inside the wall are six structures in ruins and partly buried under the ground. The largest temple has a 17 feet square base internally and is similar to the largest temple in the first group. This temple has been identified as Shiv Bhuteshwara. of temples are the number of structures of the third group, an impressive rectangular cistern almost 18 feet long hammered out of a huge boulder is nearby. Besides, there are remains of a building of a special type measuring 120 feet by 70 feet with a height of 10 feet. Along with the sides of this structure are over 30 monolithic bases at regular intervals of about 12 feet. It is evident that uh, this was a pillared pavilion. or the Vangat temples are dedicated to Shiv Bhutesha and Shiv Ugresa. Close to the temple of Shiv Bhutesha are the remains of the ruins of the temple dedicated to Bhairava and Vatra Chakra, seven brothers. Matra Chakra or Sapt Matraka represents divine energies which maintain balance in the universe by combating the evil and upholding the good. A number of Hindu kings of Kashmir from time to time raised temples at Wangat around Naranak. The earliest evidence about the shrine goes back to 253 BC when King Narendra Ditya I, alias Khemkhila, was ruling Kashmir. He consecrated shrines of Shiv Bhuteshwara and founded a permanent endowment for feeding of Brahmins. His guru Ugra constructed shrines of Shiv Ugresha and Matra Chakra. According to Raj Tarangani of Kalahan, King Jaluka erected a stone temple at Nandik Kshetra in 137 BC for Shiv Bhutesha and offered precious stones and other wealth to the temple. The offerings of flowers made of precious metals and stones are mentioned in various Shiv Paddhatis still in use in Kashmir. This temple has been identified with the Shiv Bhuteshwara temple of Vangat Naranak. Lalita Aditya Mukta Pida, a powerful Karkota dynasty and known as Alexander of Kashmir, on return from his victorious expeditions, presented a huge sum of his war booty as an offering to shrine. He erected a lofty stone temple of Shiva Jeshtha in close proximity to the shrine at Vangat, 
Naranak. King Avanti Burman made a pedestal with a conduit, Snana Droni, for bathing of sacred images. When the Narana temple complex or the Vanga temple complex is so holy, so sacred, so ancient, so mammoth, majestic and massive, so incredible and most importantly the pride and glory of rich cultural heritage of Kashmir, can't its original glory be brought back? Can't its original grandeur be brought back? Can't its original greatness be brought back? As we have seen in the case of Somnath temple.